Maxon, we call him Max. He's uh, three years old, he'll be four in February. He is a very energetic, willful little boy. My son Brian is um, 24 years old. He is diagnosed with autism. He was diagnosed when he was a little over two years old. We all want our children to grow up and be independent and be productive citizens. And when you're told that you have a diagnosis of autism, that whole scenario is threatened. You know, it's quite frankly terrible news. When you learn your child's autistic, you're just thrown for a loss. We went into our meeting with Dr. McDougall in the Lurie Center expecting what was gonna be the worst day of our lives to date. We spent two and a half hours with Dr. McDougall, my husband and I, and Max was there too, and we walked out with giant smiles on our face. I mean, feeling hope and feeling like we had found our partner. Dr. McDougall talked about the potential that there could be, um, which is not something you hear a lot in mainstream world when you're talking about autism. The Lurie Center is a model autism center. We provide multidisciplinary care. They have a bunch of different doctors you can draw on. Child and adult neurology, child and adult psychiatry, developmental pediatrics. When behaviors are spiking in the spring, they'll know to say, has he been checked for allergies? Neuropsychologists, speech and language therapists, occupational therapists, physical therapists. When he seems to be generally uncomfortable. They know that a lot of the kids have gastrointestinal issues and have you tested for that. We're able to come together as a team to discuss a particular patient in great detail from multiple perspectives. In most settings in America, all of those providers are located in different facilities miles apart. We were introduced to Suzanne Bloomer and the family resources team at the Lurie Center. She was accessible to me all the time, via email, via phone, answered any question I'd asked thoroughly and quickly. They know the child because they've been dealing in our case for with him for over 20 years. We don't feel like we're stuck with just that one meeting a year that we just have to jam everything into and oh gosh, what if we miss something? Your child feels comfortable. They already know any kind of idiosyncrasies or anything or different ways they have to interact with them. I don't know how they all remember all this with the thousands of people they see, but that's one reason that these visits to the Lurie Center are so productive. We integrate clinical research with clinical care. We're able to observe things that we can introduce into research and we're trying to train the next generation of providers. We want to have an influence on the way the world approaches and cares for autism. They have all this tremendous knowledge from dealing with the autistic population for several decades. And while every single kid is different, there are patterns that emerge. We want to figure out a cause that's treatable, that can have a long-term impact on the trajectory of a, a young person with autism's life. We're actually very close to doing that. We're exploring abnormalities in the way the nervous system or brain and the immune system interact from development and then throughout life. This could lead to diff different clinical approaches. How to help my son speak more, or understand better. And the only way that happens is with support of the Lurie Center. Because the Lurie Center, unlike other medical facilities, loses money on every patient. Every time one of our providers sees a patient in this building, we send in the bill and we lose on average $135. The only revenue stream we have where there's any element of flexible money or money that allows you to do novel research, which is gonna to lead to breakthroughs, is through philanthropy. Max loves the Lurie Center. Yeah. Where are we? To the uh, uh, doctor's. Do you like it here? Yeah, I like it. We really just want him to be happy, uh, but there's an opportunity for him to find himself in a very mainstream situation in his life, and we just feel a sense of optimism that we, you know, sort of didn't think was possible with this diagnosis. I love you. I love you. How much? So much.